Nike Dunks are some of the most popular sneakers in the world. And in this video, I wanna show off eight pairs of Dunks that inspired me to paint my very own Dunks. The Dunks behind me were on display in the art section of the Shoeseum. Some of these shoes were also on display in the art section, and some of the other ones were on display in the Dunk section of the Shoeseum. And I wanna break down these eight pairs of shoes and a couple t-shirts and show you why I was inspired to splatter paint my very own Dunks. So the Dunk was originally released by Nike in 1985, and back then it was a basketball shoe. It was actually the first basketball shoe that was made to match NCAA college colors. Originally, the Dunk came out in seven different colors for seven specific schools. It was UNLV, St. John's, Villanova, Kentucky, Syracuse, Michigan, and Iowa. Also, at the same time, Nike made a special pair of shoes for Georgetown, but they didn't want Dunks. They wore Terminators. In the Shoeseum in the Dunk Wing, I had a whole section paying tribute to the Be True to Your School Nike Dunks. In 2005, Nike celebrated the 20th anniversary of the Dunk by releasing an SB pack that included the seven college-inspired Dunks, and they were amazing. And next week, we have two more colleges coming out as part of the rivalry pack. We'll have the Georgetown Hoyas and the UNC Tar Heels. In this video, I want to pay tribute to the Be True to Your School section of the Shoeseum with three very special pairs of Dunk Highs. They're right here, and there are actually only 98 pairs of each of these colors in the world. Come check them out. These shoes were made in 2007, released in 2008, and they retail for a whopping $150 each. And that's because there's only 98 pairs of them. This was a tier zero exclusive. They were only sold at limited sneaker boutiques and at the House of Hoops. When you look at the colors on the uppers of these shoes, you'll notice that the shoes are a mishmash of the original seven colleges that wore dunks. So the yellow comes from Iowa, the blues come from Villanova and Kentucky, the orange is from Syracuse, the red, UNLV, St. John's, so on and so forth. A really cool example of some mishmashed dunks right here. Check out the shirt right over here. This shirt is really what inspired me to paint my own dunks. You can see that the shirt depicts a dunk high made out of dripping paint. Have a look at the shirt next to a pair of bright and colorful dunk highs. So I was looking at the shoes and looking at the shirt and I was thinking, I gotta do this myself. And it inspired me to splatter paint the shoes that you see on my mantle right here. So we said that the dunk started out in 1985 and originally it was a basketball shoe. In 2002, Nike SB got started and they started making dunks specifically for skateboarding. As the dunk was transitioning from a basketball shoe to a skateboarding shoe, Nike made shoes called Dunk Low Pros, Dunk Low Premiums, Dunk Low Pro Bs, and what they have is extra padding for skateboarding. What you'll see right in front of me are two pairs of shoes from 2002, the Splatter Dunk and the Unsplatter Dunk. The Splatter Dunk was actually the very first dunk that was released at Undefeated as a special shoe that was only made for Undefeated. And there's actually a second colorway that's a friends and family exclusive, and there's only 24 pairs of those in the whole world. Have a look at these shoes, the Splatter and the Unsplatter, and you can see right away how I was inspired to splatter paint my own shoes. Incidentally, as a kid, I used to love to splatter paint. My childhood room was red, gray, white, and black. And I just think it's so cool that the splatters and unsplatters happened to match my bedroom as a child and also the way that I used to paint. So from dunks as a basketball shoe to the transition of dunks to skateboarding shoes, let's check out some skateboarding dunks that also inspired me to paint my own shoes. And we're gonna start right here with these two pairs from 2003. This right here is known as the Vampire or the Blood or the True Blood, and this is the second shoe from the pack. You'll notice that the shoes are true red and black, and also black and true red. A lot of people say that the true red edition is reminiscent of the Maestros that Scottie Pippen wore in the All-Star game when he won the MVP, and a lot of people say that the black and red pair was inspired by the Chicago Bulls, which is really, really cool. You'll also notice the beautiful laces that are still attached. That's a good way to tell if your early SBs are truly dead stock. They'll have the extra lace bag and they'll still be attached to the shoe. 
On display next to these shoes was a pair of Dunk High SBs from 2011. These are actually sport red and they're all suede, but I thought that they really belonged with the low tops. Have a look at this t-shirt. It's another t-shirt that inspired me to paint my own shoes. When you're looking at the shirt, you're gonna notice that it's a dunksicle. It's a bright red dunk on a popsicle stick. Maybe we'll put the vampire down next to there so you can see the shoes with the shirt. So I'm looking at the shoes, I'm looking at the shirt, I'm thinking about paint, and I'm thinking I've gotta paint my own shoes. And between these shirts and these shoes, it really inspired me to go to town and create my very own splatter painted dunks. Anyway, it was a real pleasure walking you from the early basketball days of dunks in the 80s and 90s to the transition into the dunk as a skateboarding shoe around the turn of the millennium to some skateboarding dunks from 2003, another pair from 2011. These shoes are amazing.